Welcome back to Ladies of Another View, and I want to welcome back our guest, Ethan Peck, and he's with the Free Enterprise Project. Welcome back, Ethan. Thank you for coming on today. Thanks for having me again. I, I want to jump back into these woke companies and some of the effects that, that we're seeing, um, but I just want to mention you have a master's degree in counterterrorism from mm -hmm. uh, the a center in Israel. So we're going to have to talk about that because I feel like in a way this is counterterrorism, right, in real life business. Um, yeah, I, I, I always I think that the, the woke and, the, and Hamas have a very similar strategy, except for the killing. I don't think, the, but uh, a lot of the ideology is the same. OK, so except for the killing, but they are axing people at their jobs if you don't toe the line. So James O'Keefe with the O'Keefe Group came across uh, a leaked Zoom video call with IBM. So let's watch that and then we'll talk about it. Yep. The insider has provided us with an internal video showing the CEO of IBM, Arbin Krishna, using coercion to fire people and take away their bonuses unless they discriminate in the hiring process, which appears to be a violation of Title VII. This comes on the heels of IBM pulling advertising from Elon Musk's ex, with IBM saying they have zero tolerance for discrimination. Quote, IBM has zero tolerance for discrimination, and we've immediately suspended all advertising on X while we investigate. We take underrepresented and gender. You got to move both forward by a percentage. That leads to a plus on your bonus. By the way, if you lose, you lose part of your bonus. Falls held to the same standards. Paul and I have been working together to say, Okay, how do we apply those deeper into the organization? That was the head of IBM saying he's going to reduce the bonus if you don't hit your racial quotas. Arvind Krishna is using racial considerations and making the work environments diverse and doing so coercively by placing burdens on employees to do so, like the removal of bonus or termination. That's also a violation of Title VII. Hmm. What do you say about that, Ethan? Well, first of all, thank God for James O'Keefe's journalism. Uh, time and again, he's always exposing this kind of stuff. Um, and it's also very satisfying for me to see it, see a, a CEO just say it out loud, because we filed many, many, many uh, shareholder proposals at companies over the last couple of years, auditing their diversity, equity, and inclusion programs. And in negotiations with these companies, they'll all say the same thing every single time. We don't have race quotas, we don't have sex quotas, we're not discriminating, we just believe in diversity and inclusion. And then we say to them, well then how can you have both of those things at the same time? And then they ha they kind of freeze up and they give us another BS answer and back and forth just like that and they'll never admit that they have race quotas and sex quotas and you know, now here you have a leaked call. It's exactly that. And so it's it's what we always knew was going on behind the scenes and it's just, it's um, finally the American public's getting to see what is actually going on behind the scenes. Yeah, I was just watching something where there was this guy doing a talk at a college and this black man stood up and said that I'm oppressed and stuff like that. And he's like, this is the time of the least oppression you have because of this right here of companies doing this. They want to meet these quotas and stuff like that. And he's like, if you think you're oppressed, you can actually, a white person has a harder time getting a job sometimes because yep. of these companies meeting their quotas. Yeah. A absolutely. And that's one of the things, <laughs> it's a really good point. It's also one of the things that we bought up at, uh, at a lot of these uh, negotiations with companies when we filed proposals. They will say they'll have like a, um, employee resource groups, like these like special employee groups for black, LGBT, um, Asian, Hispanic, women. Um, but they'll have none for men or straight people or, or white people or anything like, or Christians or, you know, and, and so we'll ask them, uh, how come you don't have these groups? How come only those groups? And, 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 and then they'll say, um, well, they'll kind of BS an answer. Those kinds of people can participate too. So a, a white person can participate in the, in, in the black group. And he said, no, that's not what we asked you. And then we'll also say, well, then how come you don't have a conservative group? because those people are really discriminated against at your company. The white people are discriminated against at your company. And, and you know, it'll never work. They'll, they'll, they try to have it both ways. They'll say that we, they don't discriminate, but they, they just happen to have these only these groups. And we'll say, we don't, there shouldn't be any of these groups. There shouldn't be a white group, but there also shouldn't be a black group. You know, all of it's racist. And, uh, 
you know, they're, again, they're always trying to have it both ways. And now the dam is finally breaking, both financially and because of journalism like the, that uh, James O'Keefe is, uh, is able to uncover. Um, that I think that they're kind of in a corner and that it's only a matter of time before some of this gets walked back even more. Well, you know that famous line from a while ago of, you know, we're going to fundamentally transform America? Um, mm -hmm. That's paraphrasing. But we're seeing the results of that, I think, and we're, we're taking so many steps back in the, the racism and the, and the dividing people, and that's all part of the plan, and so we need to keep that in mind. But what are you thinking then with your studies and your negotiations with companies? Are there some openings now for conservative companies that maybe they can make a bigger Im impact, you know, impact on the market? What are you seeing there? I, I think that um, as far as conservatives within companies, I think that the ball is starting to move a little bit you, uh, there's a little bit more uh, people not sort of um, virtue signaling to the woke or being held hostage by the woke within their companies. As far as you know, conservative companies, the companies that um, espouse conservative values, um, I, th I think that that's just a market competition. Uh, I don't think that that's something that I, the S and P and the SEC might, and you know, Nasdaq, they might do what they can to keep certain companies off their in their index for a while but eventually economic reality sets in so i love what daily wire is doing for example um but they're still gonna have to beat you know uh nbc and disney and and, and so far they're doing great for the first few movies and i'm very excited about it um but i think at the end of the day it's not so much a game of tolerance as much as a game of if they produce a great product they'll win Right. Well, thank you, Ethan, for keeping them on their toes and keeping us informed because it has been crazy as it played out. And we really you know, report on what you're doing so that we can let people know that there, there is hope, that there are people <laughs> holding them accountable. So thank you, Ethan, for joining us. Thanks a lot. And I'll just say to everyone, if you guys want to get involved as a shareholder yourself, if anyone listening also owns shares in any company, go to freeenterpriseproject.org and we'll help you become a shareholder activist yourself. Amen. Thank, Thank you, you for adding that. And